Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best budget piece in Madden 21. It's been about a month or so since I've done this video last, so I'd like to update it about every month because we do get, of course, four Team of the Week installments, many new uh, the 50s, many new promos, which does it lowers other prices as well as adds lower overall cards to the game, which does in turn lead to more budget beast. Now, guys, before we get into today's video, of course, we do have to give a shout out to the Poodle Squad. And if you guys do want a chance to shout out to the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad, and turn on that noti bell. Now, for today's Poodle Squad shout out, we got Call Me Bailey. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. I greatly appreciate you coming out each and every day, showing support, commenting, and doing exactly that. Now, if you guys want a chance, like I said, I already told you how to handle that. And if you guys need coins to pick up some of these budget beasts, now, again, they are budget beasts. They're not going to be expensive, but even some budget beasts, you know, to make a whole team of budget beasts still has to still cost a decent price. So, if you want a chance, to pick up a whole team worth of budget beasts, not just a few. And you guys need some coins. Head over to Mutt Reserve down below. Use code Poodle for fifteen percent off your order. And yeah, take advantage of the discounts for you know Thanksgiving and Black Friday. But yeah, moving on from that, guys, let's get into our budget beasts. Let's head over to the store. I have, I have a few for you guys today. I'm gonna give you guys my list. So we do have a total of ten today. Now remember, they aren't exactly ranked in order. Like I have a sp sort of an order for them, but like some, you know, if they were close, I'm not gonna go specify which ones are better than others. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't gonna get nitpicky. Comes down to your team at the end of the day. So like Patrick Queen is gonna be my number ten one. Now, if you don't have a middle linebacker, that could be your number two one. So Patrick Queen is still going to be on this list. He's so, he's close to being phased out, but he's still really good because he's free. This is why I like him. If you had him as a rookie premier, you do get him for free. So you're getting an 88 speed, 90 excel, 89 tackle, 87 um, hit power linebacker, and you're getting him for free if you had his rookie premier. So for me, he's free. So I feel like that's the ultimate budget beast. Is a guy that's borderline a budget beast, and he's free, which just ascends him above that list because now he's even he's cheaper than he should be, you know, regardless. So Patrick Queen is definitely a great option as a budget piece from a linebacker. He's not going to be great to stop in the run, which is why you're going to want to be using him. Do not let him, do not leave him in space because again, he's not going. If they run at him, he's not going to stop it, and his zone's not that great. He's definitely a strict user. So if you have a user already, you may want to pass on from Patrick Queen. Now this next is going to be a little bit more expensive, but he's worth it. And I'll explain why this is going to be a great budget piece for you guys, just because of speed alone. And that's going to be Marquise Hollywood Brown. Marquise Hollywood Brown currently has 119k. Uh, Thanksgiving card. Now, here's the thing. Yes, it seems expensive, but he has the potential to get an upgrade, guys. If he gets those upgrades, you're making coins. So, essentially, it's going to be, you're going to gain coins from this. Now, if he gets an upgrade, yes, Marquise Brown has not been doing too hot lately, but I feel like they're going to get him involved in Thanksgiving Day. He gets all he needs, guys. One broken coverage where he scores, and you're looking at probably a 95 speed receiver on your budget team. And honestly, 119K is not that much these days. You know, you do the level of ground, you're probably getting that super fast. Um, Marquise Brown could be, you know, he'd be insane. Like, look how close he is. So, obviously, obviously, Marquise Brown is going to be deadly. So, we back out again. Let's just make sure that's his price. So, yeah, 119 is looking like where you can get him for maybe 125, 130, depending. So, I'm telling you guys, this card could be over, it could be overpowered. He, If he gets that upgrade, he's probably getting a 95 speed, probably gets the short running threshold, the medium, and deep. If so you're looking at a guy that can do all route running with a 95 speed, he'll be the best receiver in Madden, probably. He'll be tied. If not the best, just because of speed alone, the best wide receiver in Madden, he would be ridiculous. I'm telling you guys, if you get, I'm telling you, just pick him up. And, and again, if he doesn't get it, well, guess what? You still have one of the best wide receivers in the game, uh, speed wise, right? Like you still have one of those guys, regardless. Now this guy falls in the same category as Marquise Brown for your budget squad. He's going to cost a little more, you know, 130, but he's going to be again a guy that if he gets upgrades, first off, you can sell them if you don't like them. Like you could just sell them after they get their upgrades, maybe, and probably make some coins on them. If they don't, you might lose a little bit, but guys, it's gamble. You're, you got to be willing to take. He gets 87 speed with the short and medium routing threshold if he gets to 93. And all he needs is four. I think he'll get the four receptions. That 70 yards could be tougher, but if he gets the four receptions, he's going to be dangerously close to getting the threshold you need to get. And he's super fast. I think Eric Ebron's a great option as well. Even if not, an 87 speed tight end still isn't that bad. But again, those are just more like my uh, my gamble slash budget players. Now, moving on to the back to the regular ones, you got Henry Ruggs. Henry Ruggs goes for about 31k, and you can probably get him for cheaper if you just sit there a little bit. Um, 85, he's gonna have a 93 speed. Now, yes, he's not gonna throw route run or catch and traffic. I feel I see Ruggs as he two things or three things. You drag him, you, sh you slant him, or you streak him. Right? You're not running ins, outs, posts, crossers, maybe crossers, probably not. I would do streaks, like you know, sh nothing that requires too much crazy route running. Now, streaks do require some deep, but he does have an 81 deep route running. And then slants and drags, just you just get the ball in his hands and let him do work, right? Because that's what you have to do to the budget team. Your quarterback can't get the ball down the field. They're getting sacked too easily. 
do a drag with rugs you feed him right you feed you feed him you know you get him open in the middle of the field and he's able to make a play after that because of his speed right that's when that comes into uh, into use so that's what that's the thing with guys like you know budget teams on budget teams obviously you're not gonna get these complete receivers now marquise brown could be one which is why i've been stressing the idea of maybe picking him up but you're not gonna get complete receivers you're gonna you have to you have to be a little you know gimmicky right you have to get a guy open make him make him make him some missing space now best budget back coming in number five six on the list is ronald jones Ron Jones is probably the best budget back in the game. 92 speed, 93 excel, 92 agility, 91 change of direction. So I got to know. And then juke move is 88. Obviously, it's a little bit low. Not going to hit the juke move threshold, but still going to be super fast, super quick, super great at picking up speed. Going to be great as a budget back on any single budget team. Now, again, could you have someone else that's better? Maybe. Uh, do you like Mo uh, Monster better? Maybe. But, guys, he's, he's awesome. Now, next is DK Metcalf. Now, I typed his name really bad there. Merkaf. Metcalf, his uh, team diamond card, is going to want to be better, better budget piece in the game. I remember he does have a plus one in his power up. So guys, if you do power him up, I recommend you power him up. He gets a plus one now because of his uh, team of the week card. So he will get up to, I believe, a 94 speed potentially. So you're going to have a 94 speed DK Metcalf that gets deep route running threshold with go deep. So you're going to have the all around budget piece at 60k. You got to be looking at you got to be looking at DK. DK could literally break the game for you on your budget squad if he gets that 94 speed which i believe is what he gets upgraded on there as well as the deep right running threshold any six foot three now after the catch you know juke spin on the lower side he's got a step arm and a decent truck for a receiver of course but i would recommend you guys go ahead and pick him up you really can't argue dk metcalf i wish his catching stuff was a bit better but again if he had anything better he wouldn't be that price because of course 94 speed is overpowered Next, guys, we got Jonathan Abram from the Raiders. Now, he does have a team uh, team builder card here. 88 overall is a great budget piece. He's 48K. He has 92 speed, 90 excel, 86 tackle, 88 pursuit, 82 zone, 93 hit power. Now, what's important is that he's a user. In my opinion, he's, a, he's an even better user than Queen, you know, if you don't have Queen for free. His zone will get to a 90, but that's why you want to use him. I recommend you run, like, a big nickel scheme, or you put him at linebacker. Sub him in at linebacker, guys, and that's going to be the best user you can get right now at that, at that price. He's six feet tall. He's got 92 speed, and of course he's got 93 power. He will be the best type of user that you're gonna want in the, in the you know in the middle of the middle of the field. He's gonna be tall enough to get picks. He's gonna be able to get picks, of course. His catch only 65. It's not that big of a deal when you're using. He has the speed, the excel, and the hit power. I'm telling you, Jonathan Abram's gonna be one of the best users in the game. If you do know how to use her. Tell me number three. This guy's been on my list. I think I forget if he was on the last one, but AJ Terrell is a great great user. You can get him for about 71k as a cornerback here from the Rising Stars promo. He has 92 speed. 92 excel, 88 agility, 85 jumping, 85 play rec, 85 man, 89 zone, 87 press. Now, why is he good? He doesn't have man or press, you may say, right? Like, like threshold, which he will actually get. The thing with him is that on a budget team, you're probably not playing man. You're, you don't have cornerbacks good enough to man lock up guys, you know, like the top receivers, like Chad Ochocinco, Terry McLaurin. So you're going to be playing a lot of zone and hoping to, you know, force picks, make him make reads. But if you do actually get locked down, chemmed up to tier five on him, he will have, or 50 at 50, he will have man, zone, and press thresholds while also being a 92 speed guy. Now, if he had a power up even better, but he's going to be one of the best cornerbacks on a budget team, probably the best cornerback on a budget team. The next guy coming in number two is Adrian Amos, and he actually is going to contend with Jonathan Abram for one of the best users, or actually you could even let him just be his, be his own guy as well. So he's going to be 83K from the flashback promo. He gets 91 speed, 91 excel, 80 tackle, 88 play rec, 86 pursuit, 84 man, 90 zone, 86 hit power. Now, him, I might recommend you leave at safety, right? You want to use your Abram because he doesn't have zone. But Amos gets 90 zone. So you can actually leave him, you know, on his own little island and let him let him roam and do his thing. He'll be he has the speed, good enough hit power, good enough zone, good enough man. He can be powered up, guys. So if you power him up and chem him up to 50 at 50 lockdown, he'll get man and zone threshold. He's just gonna be an all-around beast with 92 speed. Um, I highly recommend you check out Adrian Amos. He could be really, really good. I think he's already is really good. That's kind of why his price is still, you know, decently up there. But again, all these cards are below 100 k besides the Thanksgiving ones. Well, for the most part, they're all fall within the budgety range. Now, this is a guy that I think is a staple on any team. And the main reason I think you should get him is because of his power potential. And that's Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald has so much power potential in terms of what you can do with your team. He only goes for about, what is that, 47K you can get him for right now. That's an absolute steal. And he does have a Team of the Week upgrade one right there, as you guys saw. I believe, yeah. So, he has a Team of the Week upgrade, and he also has a, um, a Most Feared card. So, I don't recall which one came first. Kind of blank in there, but either way... He will be able to get powered up to right below probably. So let's say he gets powered up to probably a 90-91. So he can, get, he can probably get up to like a 90-91. So you can get him up to a 90-91, which is like a plus two on all stats. So he will get the block shit threshold more than likely powered up and chemmed up. 
he will get the pass or uh, the power move threshold if you chem him up depending on which chems you use so he's going to be a good pass rusher he's going to be a great run stuffer and he's going to be a decently all-around end now you can also upgrade him to his next card if you ever get the chance to do so or do the set and try to get a bargain out of it but for the most part the beauty of this aaron donald card going to be it's aaron donald on a budget squad and you need well-roundedness right so typically at end you can either get a good finesse or a good block shed aaron donald's gonna be the one end that can kind of do both for you just well enough to where he helps you on both ends of the ball whether they're running it or they're hitting you with the pass so i think aaron donald's an all well-rounded beast so those are my top 10 guys we got patrick queen marquise brown eric ebron henry ruggs uh ronald jones dk metcalf jonathan abrams aj terrell amos aaron donald now my favorite ones I think AJ Terrell has a lot of potential. So does Abram, Metcalf, and Amos. So like those are my like top ones if I'm just going budgeting. Now, I think Marquise Brown is sneaky, sneaky, a crazy good one if he gets his upgrades. Now, Bully, okay, no. They, they've been struggling. Lamar's passing game, you know, the whole passing offense has been struggling. Him and Marquise Brown haven't looked on the same page. He's looked a lot better with uh, with uh, Mark Andrews. But hopefully they can get that sorted out just for Thanksgiving. Help us Madden community players out. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I want to be shout out to the Poodle Squad. Like the video, comment down below Poodle Squad. Turn on the Noti Bell. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the budget squads. If you have any players you guys want to add, any other budget pieces you guys think of. And yeah, if you need coins, send over to my reserve down below. Just go Poodle Thrusting off. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.